Hey YouTube, it's Dove Mods again. Welcome to another theory video. Today I want to talk about the difference between a hobo stove and a wood gas stove. That drawing shows the schematics of a hobo stove and that one shows a wood gas stove. So as you can see what's the difference between the two stoves. This one has two walls and this one has just one wall. And there's a simple reason for that. As I said in my video about hobo stove mechanics, it's always good to have secondary air in the burning chamber allowed by that hole in that, in that case and with a wood gas stove you can make that effect even stronger because between the two walls that you have there is a space created and the air within that space is heated up by the fire in the burning chamber. So what happens is the hot air is drawn up because it expands and comes out here. Of course you need some holes here for the air to exit this chamber and to get into the burning chamber and the air is not just coming in but since it is pulled up here or has a strong draft effect it shoots into the burning chamber and creates really really a strong secondary burning. Those wood gas stoves are very very efficient and that's the reason for that because they put a lot of secondary air into the burning chamber. Once you use a wood gas stove usually you can see uh, there are kind of fire jets coming out of these holes and that's the reason for that. You can have a similar effect with just having holes in the wall of the burning chamber but that system puts more air into the fire and that makes it just much more efficient. But there's one problem you need to take care of. You can't have a feeding hole for obvious reasons because you, you can't put holes in those walls because your, your mechanics won't work anymore. So if you want to use a wood gas stove for cooking you need some top part. I have that on one of my wood gas stoves. Where the fire can get out once you put a pot on the stove and where you can feed it. So you really need to take care of that. That just the, the fire out the exit hole and the feeding hole is above those jet holes or ventilation holes. That's how a wood gas stove works. I have a giant wood gas stove tutorial online. If you're interested you can look at that. Anyway I hope it was easy to understand what I was explaining and I hope you had fun and I hope I see you next time. 